Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm just gonna show you how to add a mob to MC Creator with animations. Cause you guys have been asking me that for a long time. <laughs> uh, that Soul Spider video I did a while ago, it's been occasionally getting comments and more likes and more views and all that. So I just thought, you know what, I'm just gonna make a video. Like, I'm not gonna show you how to install Gecko Lib or MC Creator cause that stuff is pretty easy. And that's kind of different so I'm just gonna show you like the basic stuff so I have this snowy strider I made today it's like a snowy variant of course of the strider so it walks on powder snow instead of lava so we have a few animations we have idle its hair just kind of sways back and forth and it shivers a bit and we have walk it's just a simple walking animation really similar to the regular strider in the game And then you have the hurt animation, which only plays once, it's just like that. So when you damage it, it'll do that. Once you have all your models and everything, texture saved, you want to make sure all of these are lowercase, nothing here can be capitalized, and there must be underscores between any space. So export Gekulit model, just like this. You want to go to the animation tab, you want to go to this at the top and do save all animations. Now, go to your MC Creator workspace. So you go up to workspace tab on the top, workspace settings. Okay, go to external APIs and turn on this. And then do yes. And now that is gonna actually install the plugin so it works. Now there's an option for blocks, entities, and items. We're doing an entity right now, so. You don't need an underscore here, but you also can't have a space. If it's two words, make the first letter in them capital, and that'll automatically make a underscore as you can see. I'll just do that anyway. So you wanna find your texture. Here it is, the snowy strider. For the spawn egg texture, I have a really cool tip. If you go back to block bench, if you wanna use the exact same colors from your model, you can go color picker up here. Just choose like any color you want. I'll do this for the the main part and this for the dots. So once you pick a color, you'll see it up here. And you copy this, not including the hashtag. Control C, go back here. Select the three dots. And then Control V, paste that, enter. And now you will have the exact same color from your model. You don't have to do this, but I just prefer it. This snowy strider, you may see the spike on the top, that shows that you cannot actually ride it, it's unrideable. This is more of like a tutorial thing I guess, for newer players who aren't familiar with how powder snow works. You can see that the strider is wearing boots, so that's kind of how you learn you can walk on it, by wearing leather boots. It's a nice little feature. I like to look up the normal health of the mob. Alright, so the, the strider has 20 health, which is 10 hearts, so that's like the same as the player. So I'm just going to set it as 20. If we can actually just put boots in there, because I don't know how to actually make it walk on it. So this is the boots. So if we do leather boots, let's hope that works. Now the animations, here's, here's the part. So of course idle animation, the condition of timing where the animation plays, like idle, it's already built in to this plugin, so you just put idle, walk. I would recommend putting head movement on, which is this. So if you do that, it'll basically look at the player, kind of like how any other mob was, depending on what you name this. So I called it head. I do have one for when it's hit. I think you do that in a procedure instead. So to get the model, you just go up here to the Gecko Live tab ups upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> up here at the top not upstairs you import the model so the first thing you import is of course the model the geo file and then after that you do the animations huh oh man okay there we go so yeah I guess if if it doesn't show up here you just go to like the workspace or something move the tab and then it'll show up here and I have also designed sound effects for this so I'm gonna also show you guys how to do that. Alright, so now once you have the all that done, I'd recommend 
starting it up by pressing this little play button. And now it'll just have to load up the game. Just create a world, name it whatever you want. I'd recommend putting it creative if you want to see the mob like right away. All right, Snowy Strider Spawn Egg. Let's see how well this works. Here we go. Oh, look at him. Oh, I don't know what's going on with the eyes though. That's a bit weird. We could probably change that. Hey, look at this walk. Looks so nice. He's a lot smaller than a normal Strider. His head is 12 by 12 instead of 16 by 16. So I am also gonna make him look at me too. He's not really looking at me right now. So this is the moment of truth to see will he actually sink on powder snow? Because he's he technically does have the boots on right now. Oh no. Alright. Oh! Oh! Okay. It works. Look at that! They don't sink. That's amazing. And even if they are in there, they eventually rise up, I think, too. Yeah! Okay, this works! This is perfect. Alright, so they are a little quiet right now, so... Let's add a few sound effects. I have the sound effects ready in this video, and I just gotta download it from Discord. I sent it to myself. Alright, so if you're using a video for this, I would recommend opening this. VLC Media Player. Go to Media, Convert, Slash Save add and then just add the video like that do the convert browse go to where you want it to save and then just name it whatever now I like to use this software called audacity just drag your sound file into this the one you just saved and then you'll have you just have all the sounds right here now just drag the end of this to wherever you want the sound to end the first one you gotta like basically you gotta crop all of these one at a time export do this one specifically the OGG chirps chirp one there you go and now just drag it to the end of the next one and then drag the start to the beginning and then just kind of repeat that with different numbers so this one will be chirp two I'd recommend for the the hurt or any death sounds you do, I'd recommend putting it just before where it starts. So if it's like this, if you attack the mob, it'll wait a few seconds there, and then it will play the sound, so just try to cut this right as the peak of the sound starts. Okay, so once you have all the sound effects for your mob, you're gonna want to go to this little thing next to the red dots. Sound effects, just uh, so it'll bring you to this. And now you can do this and hold control or shift and just select. So this is the idle sound. This is the chirp. So only select that one for the idle. And then this is, of course, what shows in the game if you have subtitles on. So just try your idle. And then do it again for all the other sound effects. So like the hurt sound. All right, so once you got once you got all the sound effects, go back to your model. You just look here and then select your sounds. So living sound would be the idle or the chirps. The step would be a walk, which is the stepping sound, hurt, you know, etc. All those. You can also you can go here and you can change either the the bounding box of the mob or you can change the visual scale. So, the mob looked a bit small, so I'm probably going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm just going to make a quick loot table so you guys know how to do that too. So up here, you would remove this, and then remove blocks and make it entity instead. Make sure that underscore is there. And then entity, select that. Oh, this is good. Now, I'm not going to explain this whole loot table thing. That's You can find that on YouTube somewhere else. So... I'm thinking it'll probably just drop like a, you know, like a snowball or whatever. Yeah, I'll probably add like an ice spike or something, but it could just drop like a ice right now. 
Before we start, um, I'm gonna make a quick procedure. You go here, entity attacked. Yeah, so you do this, and then select your entity here. Again, whatever the hurt animation is, it's just hurt. <laughs> Type in that, hurt. So now when the snowy strider gets hurt, it'll do that animation. All right, so if you go back for another test, since the thing has been changed, you might want to make a new world for this part. Well, wow, this time I actually just spawned in a snowy biome. Oh, he's, that might be too big. And I uh, forgot to fix the eyes. Yeah, sound effects work, it's pretty cool. Well, there's the tutorial you guys have always been wanting. Oh. They're bigger than- <laughs> they're way bigger than a normal strider. Okay, I need to fix that for sure. See you guys in the next video, whatever it might be. I don't upload full videos very often, but I hope to get back to it. Anyway, without any more to say, I hope this tutorial was useful. Linky, out. Bye.